Did you know that Elgu makes things other than 3D printers and laser engravers and cutters? Guess what? They make robots. Let's get it opened up. Check it out. Yeah, I, I truthfully had no idea. Um, when I think of Elgu, I've always thought of 3D printers and, you know, engravers and lasers and things like that. I had no idea they did robots. And this is awesome. Uh, so the folks over there reached out to me and asked me about what I thought. And uh, I went and checked out the, the website and stuff and I was looking at them and, and I saw the tank. I'm like, yes, please. It's a tank. Um, so the way I'm going to do this, this particular, uh, video is this video, we're going to talk about the actual tank. We're going to talk about some of its features and things like that. We're going to take a look at some of the parts and then I'm going to do a second video of construction and use because this, that deserves its own thing. And, and I thought about doing a single video and I thought, you know what? No, this deserves two. So we're going to do two videos. This is basically just like the unboxing and, and stuff like that. And then I promise you there will be a build video. Um, I have never built a robot tank before. <laughs> it also has FPV. FPV, how cool is that? But uh, there's the box right there. A uh, very well packaged um, side back. Some of the uh, parameters, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. It's got programming software, Elgu kit, infrared photoelectric sensors, ultrasonic sensor buttons, um, motor, servo, gimbal, LED, it's 7.2 volt battery pack, two hours of battery life. It has line tracking mode. How cool is that? It has a distance measuring method, dual channel driver chips for the motor, infrared tracking, DC motor, um, Wi-Fi, got a camera, uh, Wi-Fi mode, servos. It is 270 by 230 by 85 millimeters, and it weighs 1,640 grams. Wow, ah, it's a tank, come on, it's the Conqueror robot tank. All right, here we go, three, two, one. Oh. I also noticed something on the lid here, auto follow mode. I, I mean, this, my brain is just going crazy with all of the, the things that you, I can do with this. Check out this packaging, look at that. That is, that is first rate packaging right there. Uh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? I have a feeling this is other, something other than instructions. Okay, we do have instructions. I mean, look at this. That's nice. Very, very nice. You got a material list. Uh, also, this thing is uh, CNC uh, aluminum, I do believe. Uh, but it's definitely very, very cool. You got your little setup instructions, adjustable top plates, wiring diagrams. And I think that more than likely this has, this may have something to do with uh, fine tuning it or testing out if I had to guess. And it definitely would be a guess right now. Uh, but as you can see, tons of, inst tons of instructions. So I definitely uh, want to read up on this and get a better feel for it. And that's the reason why I'm only doing this type of video here and I'm gonna do a second video on the actual uh, build of it. Got a tutorial. Looks like it has a remote control. You got an app, Wi-Fi, how to connect to that. Oh, you can program it. Very, very cool. Okay, a lot of safety stuff. 
there's your uh, actual control board right there. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's get some of the boxes out. Let's take a look at it. So it, like, I see stuff on each box. So like this particular box here, um, I like the way they did this right here. You got an actual table of contents on what's in the box. So you got your driving wheels, two pieces, driven wheel, eight pieces, wheel caps, eight, tracks, you got the two tracks, screw packs, left rocker pack, and right rocker pack. I wanna take a look at the treads, I'm in the wheels and stuff. Oh, I love the color, they're olive drab. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting olive drab. Oh, look at that. Look at that wheel. Uh, roller wheels, you got your drive wheels right here. Very, very nice. Uh, these are plastic, um, which is fine. Uh, let's see here, we got all the roller wheels. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a fun, fun build. There's your uh, caps right there. Oh, uh, thank goodness. I have put my fair share of tracks together and to see them fully assembled makes me happy. Elgu, thank you so much. Uh, very good quality. Uh, again, it's, it's plastic, but that's okay. It's good and rigid. The, uh, the sp spines here are very well done. So no, no complaints there. Uh, got a secondary box, uh, screw pack, left rocker pack, right rocker, rocker pack. I love the way this is divided out. I like the way it's, it's done. It's, it's, it's laid out in a way that um, is very, very easy to interpret and to get things done the way they need to be done. So yeah, get that closed back up. All right, I'm gonna sit you right there for now. Uh, this box here, okay, Uno one piece expansion board, camera module, uh, the 521 module, line tracking module, ultrasonic sensor module. So this is gonna be all the modules in the, in the cameras. Beautiful anti-static bags, very well done. Um, you definitely advise to uh, read up on how to discharge yourself for uh, anti-static. Basically, you just rub a piece of metal and that'll help, but uh, I like the fact that all of these are uh, anti-static bags. Uh, if you get one of these kits, do not open all of these at one time. Open them as you need them. Uh, camera right there. Looks like eyes. This is oh, this is this is cool. Uh, control board. So yeah, this is this is very very cool. All right, the main box. Look at that artwork. The main box. Aluminum shell, four pieces, bracket pack, servo pack, DC motor, cell box, tool kit, remote control. <laughs> all right so this is going to be this is where all of the uh functionability uh we've got two servos right there very very nice so we got our drive motors very nice this is the i'm assuming this is the battery pack uh remote control cell box so that is uh, on and off. I'm really curious. So we do have a rechargeable. So this is uh, rechargeable. So and it's it's sealed. So that's okay. Very cool. Um, not sure what these are. Uh, these look like some kind of brackets. Got the remote control. This is going to be fun. Remote control. That's going to be fun. All right, so we got the tool kit with all the connecting cables. Uh, got a little screwdriver, um, actual little uh, four-way wrench. Got our uh, control panel uh, connecting cables, USB, yeah. Oh man, check that out. That's an awesome screwdriver. And it's dual purpose, I think. 
It's a Phillips screwdriver. Very nice. See, it's the little, little things like that. Little things like that are amazing. Oh, oh good aluminum chassis. Oh, this is, this is, this sort of gives you an ideal. So this probably is either the bottom or the top plate. Oh, if I had to, oh, hang on. So this is the top plate because here's the front. So that's going to give you an idea of how big this is just from that perspective right there. So yeah. And you got your side plates right there. Mm -mm -mm. Very, very cool. Let's see here. Let me look at these. Let me look at these directions again. Let me put some of this stuff. Uh, you know, hang on a minute. I'm curious. I want to see what step, what the steps are. What is step one? All right. Step one is the material list. Step tool, tool is to assemble the left rocker, then assemble that to the actual board. So I was sort of going to get in a hurry, but uh, so what you got to do is you actually have to assemble pieces to this before you ever mount it. So it looks like you do the left side, the right side, then the motors. It honestly looks like the main uh, putting it all together is actually one of the last things. It is step 13. So basically you will put all the stuff that goes on the left and the right, all the stuff that goes on the bottom, and all the stuff that goes on the top, and then you put the whole thing together. That's interesting. That actually is, it does make a lot of sense. It makes a tremendous amount of sense. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy. Oh yeah, that ultra, and then you got your actual wiring diagram. So yeah. I'm gonna have to do some reading up. So tell you what, let me get all this stuff boxed back up. I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this amazing tank. All right, guys, so once again, big shout out, Elgu. Thank you so much for sending me this. Uh, again, I totally think this des deserves the, the two video approach, uh, possibly three. Um, I don't wanna rush this. There's a lot of components to this. There's a lot of uh, electrical connections and things like that. Uh, we may be able to do a second video with construction and assembly, and then we may do a third video of it putting it through its paces. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I definitely wanted to do this video first because I think it deserved it. Um, but yeah, definitely check out the links in the description. Uh, they are various different kinds of these. Um, this is the tank, but there's cars and other things. But yeah, uh, this is amazing to me because I did not know about this. And to have a, a, a basically, you know, a tank that does FPV, which, you know, thinking about it on your phone, you can, first person, come on. Um, I can see this being honestly something to incorporate into other things like clone troopers. Just saying right there, put something there, you know. 3D print some pieces, I'm just saying. Uh, I think that would be a nice little thing. But this also is something that if you have kids and grandkids and you want to have something to, to, to do together, I think this would be a perfect thing. Um, now I know it's designed for you know 12 plus uh, and I totally uh, understand that. But you know, having some fun with the family I think this would be a nice little uh, little thing. So definitely check out the links and uh, yeah, see what you think. Leave me in a comment though. You know, when you go to the website and look at things, leave me a comment. What, what do you see that you like? So uh, yeah, definitely do that for me. Uh, let me know what you think about the tank. And uh, yeah, but that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if this is your first time to my channel, if you want to see the second part of this video, you got to hit that subscribe button. If you turn on, uh, if you actually uh, do hit the subscribe button, make sure to turn on notifications. That way you'll see when I do the second video on this awesome tank. Uh, if you want to see anything I do on social media, 
Once this is built, I'll definitely be doing some photos of it, throwing them on my social media. How do you find me? Click more in the description. It expands. You'll see links to this. You'll also see links to all of my social media. So reach out to me, click a, you know, give me a follow if you like what I do there. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so I need to read some instructions. And with that, please always remember, toys that you build refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.